hi what's up welcome back to my channel i hope you're having an amazing day so i have just moved into a new new york city apartment which means new decorations so far i have only completed this area and the desk area but since it's time for back to school i thought it would be fun to give you a desk tour before i do the rest of the apartment tour and also because the rest of the apartment is not fully set up yet so this is my desk tour and let's get into it so here is the quick overview of my desk it's currently placed next to my bed and then it's also next to my temporary spot for my cleaning supplies. I am so pleased with this setup. So I want to give a big shout out to Fezabo for sponsoring today's video. They actually sent me the desk that was in this video for a desk makeover because first of all before moving into this apartment I didn't have a desk and needed a desk and I love their products so much. They're doing a huge back to school campaign right now where you can get major discounts on a variety of different standing desks. Besides the standing desk they have a bunch of other office products depending on what your needs are. Here is the Fezabo website. As you can tell, they have so many different collections of various office supplies, but as I mentioned, they specialize in the standing desk. Their standing desks are great quality and affordable, which is so nice because everyone deserves a great workspace, especially since a lot of people are going remote now, and you don't want to spend an arm and a leg on a desk. The desks come in so many different shapes and sizes as well as colors, so you'll absolutely be able to find one. They have free shipping and free returns within 60 days, and they're also eco-friendly. I just have the regular standing desk. You can pick out what type of wood and color you want the tabletop to be, as well as the legs which is so nice because I love customizing stuff. For my desk I chose a lighter wood because I thought that matched the walls the best and then white legs because I just I don't know I like white better than black. The desk I have is electric with motors and you can adjust the standing desk to whatever height you please which I love. I love to have options so if I want to stand one day I can stand and if I'm feeling tired I can sit. It's all on their website which I'll have linked below. I also have a discount code too which I'll put here as well as in the description box. And also I struggle so much putting things together. I can't put furniture together but this was really easy for me to set up and they also have like whole video tutorials if you get confused which is so nice because I just my brain does not process how to set things up. The Fezabo's desks are perfect and you should definitely check them out and I want to say thank you again to them for sponsoring this video and let's get on with the desk tour. So obviously the desk is from Fezabo. I love this shade. It matches perfectly with the wall coloring. I actually didn't know what color the walls would be when I moved in but I am very pleased with how this matches the wall. So starting from left to right, so the first thing I have, which actually does not have a light bulb in, which I just remembered that I need to add to my shopping list. I have this color blocked pink lamp from Urban Outfitters. I ordered this on their website and I was so nervous that it was going to break in the mail, but it came in one piece. I actually got this yesterday. It'll look so cool once I put a light bulb in it. And then we have one of these pastel storage crates, which you probably have seen all over TikTok. I have one here and then I have four others down there, which I'll cover in a little bit. But this storage crate I put right here, the orange one specifically, because I thought orange best matched the rest of the aesthetic of the desk. But in here I just have my most commonly used items. So this is the adapter for my computer. This is my computer mouse. I have my AirPods. I have my catch-all notebook, which I literally just write down anything that I think of from like grocery list to content ideas to homework. Then I have my mushroom agenda from Barnes & Noble which I got in my school supplies video if you haven't seen that. And then I have my iPad. I love these storage containers because they look so aesthetically pleasing and you can also stack them and pretty much everything fits in here and they have so many different sizes. Then I just have my keyboard and my laptop which are self-explanatory. Then here is the bookshelf. So I don't have a bookshelf in my room because there is literally no room for it. So all my books are being stored like this. There is an organization system to this, which I will explain. And yes, I do know I have a lot of books. So I stack them unevenly, but like also evenly, if that makes sense. The space between this stack and this stack is the same amount of space between this stack and this stack. So it gives it like a little stair step. And then on the top, I have my all too well Taylor Swift notebook. And then my signed fearless Taylor's version CD. And then just some extra bookmarks. So I sort of stacked these books by color and I also sort of stacked them by genre. So this first stack here is like rom-coms and like summer romance type books and also books that are just 
pink colored and they're also all stacked by size too so the biggest ones are at the bottom and then the smaller ones are at the top and then behind here I just have the full-on regular romance books not the rom-coms just romance books pretty much all my book recommendations I get on TikTok so there are a lot of like TikTok famous books these ones are all romance and then I just have some regular fiction books up here and more romance books and then finally for this stack which is kind of hidden this has more just plain old contemporary fiction books such as like where the crowd I was saying the my policeman I definitely need to start reading some more just regular fiction instead of romance books so those are the book stacks I have some more on my bedside table which I'll show in my apartment tour and then here are like larger books which kind of stuck out weirdly if I stack them horizontally so I stack them vertically so we have the Briar U series and then we have some Christina Lauren books and some regular fiction books all once again organized by height here are my sticky notes which I use all the time for just writing down random things they are lifesavers this bag right here is from the Strand which is a bookstore in New York City this is where all my lip glosses are and now let's get over to the right side of the desk so this is my more makeup area so first thing right here we have this makeup well it's technically not for makeup brushes but I use it for makeup brushes it's a vase I love the pink and the orange that's one of my favorite color combos then we have my eyeshadow palette and beauty blender here are my eyebrow products some extra eyeshadow palettes etc this is my face makeup and then this is my eye makeup and this drawer right here is just like my everyday makeup and the rest of my makeup is in a different drawer and then I have my makeup mirror which is in a heart shape it's like a very vintage inspired also from Amazon I just got this because my other mirror broke and I love this then I have my desk lamp also from Amazon this is like more of a actual desk lamp while that one is like more for aesthetic purposes but they both work this I love because you can adjust the amount of light that comes out and there's also two pencil holder things. I have some more not really strangers card games which are once again for decoration and then a beading kit and then here is my calendar which is from Target. Then here are my jewelry trays so this one is from Target this is necklaces. Then we have my flip rings collection I'm a content creation intern there so that's why I have so many of these. And then I have some earrings that my mom gave me. This is earrings, bracelets, and other rings it's kind of a mess but this is such a cute tray I got at a flea market. And then here are some earrings and other rings this did have like a sunshine thing on top of it but it broke off so that's the upper part of the desk now let's get into the lower part of the desk so under here I do have a couple of storage bins so these are from Amazon these are perfect for holding stuff <laughs> obviously that's their purpose and then up here I'm storing like all of my school stuff and magazines I actually haven't started school yet so that's why there's like two things on there but this will stack up quickly when school starts so these two drawers are my office supplies while these two drawers are like hair care stuff so this first drawer these aren't super organized but it kind of makes sense to me so I have like some to-do list academic planners rubber band balls tape pretty much all the supplies you need for school sharpies highlighters I am so prepared for back to school in terms of school supplies not in terms of like actually doing the work <laughs> and then this drawer is also more school stuff but things that I use less frequently if that makes sense I have some earplugs in case people start screaming in the middle of the night or something then we have tape I have like the cutest parks and recreation little book which I got for like a dollar at a thrift store then a little stapler tape glue thank you cards stationary extra post-it notes so basically my catch-all drawer and then this drawer is hair tie oh that almost fell that's not good but basically this drawer is just hair ties nail polish and backup makeup this is not super exciting I keep everything in Ziploc bags because it keeps me organized and then I know where everything is and then this drawer I have my hair dryer my two straightening irons curler and then some like heat protectant spray and other stuff and then these are the rest of the pastel stacking drawers so I stack these like in order of frequent usage so here I have like alcohol wipes for cleaning my phone as well as like tripod stuff and earbuds and hard drives this one has an extra pillowcase which I use as like the background when shooting some pictures and this stuff is like picture hanging supplies and extra pictures so like command hooks and packaging tape and then the bottom one is hardware supplies and then finally Finally, this bag has all of my camera equipment in it, and then that bag is basically my junk 
drawer, but it's a bag instead of a drawer. And there is all of my school stuff and like papers and projects from previous semesters. So that was it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed the desk. Definitely stay tuned for the rest of the apartment tour, which should be coming in like a week or so. And by apartment, I mean the single room. But yeah, that was it for today's video. Be sure to check out Fezabo. I'll have everything linked in the description box. And thanks again for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below anything you want to. Subscribe to my channel. Turn the notification bell on. Follow me on Instagram and on TikTok where I post every single day. And I'll see you soon. Bye.